Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about lutein and your brain. Okay, well, like what is lutein? Well, it's a specific phytonutrient, which is a plant-based chemical, part of a family of what's called carotenoids. Carotenoids, there's like over 600 different carotenoids. Lutein is one of them. And they're basically natural chemicals that give you additional health benefits, okay? Usually from vegetables and other foods as well. Specifically with lutein, it supports the retina, of the eye. So if you lose uh, the retina, you're going to have problems with vision. And the retina is like the back part of the eye equivalent to film on a camera. Okay, so it's photosensitive. And then the brain. So lutein supports certain parts of the brain. So if you have dementia, Alzheimer's, you're probably deficient in lutein. And also lutein would be good as a preventative measure against cognitive degeneration. Uh, the brain apparently sucks up more lutein than any other phytochemical. And um, so it supports cognitive, it crosses the blood-brain barrier, it's protective, it's also an anti-inflammatory, uh, it's in kale, spinach, collard greens, uh, romaine lettuce, Swiss chard, egg yolk, uh, yellow, orange, and green peppers, um, anything very colorful, it's, it's in there. Now, one of the things that I consume is a lot of kale. This is my blender, and I just wanted to show you uh, what my, how much kale I would use when I blend it. So I take about this much out of a blender, I'll fill it with water, and I will also add, I like blueberries. These are wild, organic blueberries, Trader Joe's. I'll put about maybe a half of a cup to a cup of blueberries in this kale shake. I fill it with water at the top. I usually freeze the kale so it comes out a little bit better when I blend it. It's easier to blend because it breaks up easier. And then I'll also add about one to two um, serving size of a wheatgrass juice powder just to put the icing on the cake. And then I'll add some lemon juice in there, probably an ounce. And I'll put a teaspoon of coconut oil, okay? And I'll blend it for a while, like four or five minutes because I really want it smooth. And I have a pretty uh, seriously pretty robust blender because I, if you have a blender that's not very strong, it comes out too thick, it's not as creamy, and it's not, it doesn't break down as much, so you have to get a, a good quality blender. But the reason why we're putting the, the um, coconut oil is because lutein and all the carotenoids are fat soluble, which means that they dissolve with fats. And they, it needs to be fat soluble because it crosses the blood-brain barrier into the brain, which is all fat. Um, so, and the retina is an extension of the brain, so it's fat soluble. So when you add a little coconut oil, you're going to absorb more um, lutein into your body. Um, if you don't have a gallbladder, if you have gallbladder issues, then you would add a little um, gallbladder formula with it, and that would really drive it in because that has the bile salts to help emulsify and break down this fat soluble compound. And that's the same thing with a salad. If you're doing a salad, kale salad, that's why you would want to add the olive oil to add more fat in there to help you uh, absorb more of the fat soluble nutrients. Okay? So I just wanted to kind of do a video on this to um, explain the importance of lutein and another reason why you should consume kale. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.